What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my 6.5 quart pressure cooker slash air fryer ninja foodie. Today, I'm going to make some classic, classic ninja foodie mac and cheese. So first off, yeah, we're going to use these jumbo elbows. I like to use them because they stand out. Usually when I make these, people be like, jumbo elbows and mac and cheese, huh? And shout out to Christie's cooking channel. That's where I got the idea from last year. Big shout out to you, babe. So we're going to go ahead and dump the box in. And that's 16 ounces. Go ahead and add four cups of water. Go ahead and add some salt to taste. It's been rumored that when you add salt, it comes to pressure faster. Go ahead, go ahead and add two scoops of butter. Go ahead and give it a whirl. Go ahead and put my pressure cooker lid on, make sure it's on steel. Yep, we are on seal. Alright, pressure high. And I want to go six minutes. Six minutes, Dougie Fred. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, we're going to hit start. They used to sing that to me all the time in the hallway in elementary school and, and middle school. And people to this day still trying to ask me to teach them how to duggy. <laughs> Y'all hear that? That means it's getting hot. We're getting the pressure. So you see that red thing there? When that button pushes up, that means it's ready to come to pressure. And when you release it, when it goes back down like that, that means you're ready to open it. And it usually has a click noise that you'll notice. Oh, and another tip. If you're in a rush and you need to come to pressure quick, just add warm to hot water. And um, it'll come to pressure quicker than just cold water. All right, we came to pressure. I'll be back. Time to release the pressure, y'all. Oh, I'll do it with my other hand so you can see. All right, we're ready to open it up. Sound like it said ta-da. <laughs> Here we have it. Shout out to my kitchen gadgets group one time. I'm gonna go ahead and drain the uh, pasta. All right, guys, I'm going to add a packet of um, this Velveeta cheese sauce. You don't have to do that, but I like to do that because it's pretty much melted. And you just squeeze it in and then you mix it in. I like that much better. I'm going to put a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Or I guess you could have put a half, I mean, a cup of um, half and half. I'm going to add a cup of mozzarella cheese. I'm 
dump that in there. Probably should have added that before um, I put in the um, half and half, but it's all good. So now, and and by the way, my um, it's on keep warm right now. This whole time it's been on keep warm, and it automatically goes there right after it um, pressure cooks. So I'm just gonna mix everything together, and um, we'll go from there. Keep mixing and mixing and mixing. You can even put it on saute if it's not, um, you know, melting is good good enough for you. And feel free. I did add a little bit more of um, heavy whipping cream. Um, I would say probably one fourth more. And by the way, I have everything that I'm doing um, in the in the description. So you can see it better. But just mix it and mix it. So when it starts looking like this, we're gonna add one more, well, two more things. Look at that, y'all. That's ooey and gooey. At this point, I'm gonna add some black pepper uh, to taste. Not too much. Go ahead and mix that in. Y'all see that? And just to go over the top, I'm gonna add a half a cup of sharp cheddar cheese. All right, we're gonna mix that in. And once this gets mixed in, good. We got one thing left to do that so many can't in one pot. Look how that ceramic is handling that gooey mac and cheese. Nothing sticking, nothing. It's just, it's just moving with it, going with the flow. So I love ceramic. All right, we we about done. One last thing. Go ahead, and pat it down, cause we about to air fry it, y'all, in the same pot. What y'all know about that? That crackling you hear, I put it on um, saute. Kind of speed up the everything getting all together. Look at that, y'all. All right. So now, all I'm going to do is close that. It's already attached. So I just close it, boom. Air crisp, see that there? I'm gonna keep it at 390, I like that. I'm gonna go for five minutes, cause I'm not sure. We'll go with five minutes and take it from there. We're about done. We'll wait for it to shut up. See? Now, when I open this, this is the essence of this machine. What I just did is the whole concept. You can pressure cook something and crisp it up however you want it. Look at that, y'all. And by the way, I just did two extra minutes at 390, so I did seven minutes. Probably 490 would have got it done faster, but I'm one take. I ain't got time to do this video over. I'm too pimp-like for that. We ain't got time for mistakes. <laughs> All right. Let's dig into it to see how it looked. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook one time. Y'all know how we do. Put some on the plate, but I want to see what is what we looking like. Let me see it there. All right, that's ceramic. I could go right to the bottom. Look at that. See that? 
Come on now. Come on now. Did you look at that? Stop playing. Look at that crust on the top. And if you really want to be pimp like, this is what you can do. You could put it on saute and crisp up the bottom. I'll try that next time. I don't know how long that would take, but it can be done. Notice, guys, I did not use the air fryer basket, this four quart air fryer basket. Didn't even use it. I just used the 6.5 quart um, pressure cooker um, ceramic pot, and it worked just fine. So you don't have to use this. And by the way, you can take this off. This, I didn't explain it. I, I don't think I did in my unboxing. This just separate because you have to have the um, pressure cooker um, inner pot in there for it to work. If you, if I try to put something else in there, it'll say put. It'll, it'll give. It won't turn on. The pressure will not. It won't even turn on. You have to have that pot in there. So that's why this is there to create the separation from the pot and the basket. Because it's ceramic, this will just scratch it. So just FYI. Oh, and I'm also telling you, because you need to take this off to properly wash it, you know, in between there. Don't be nasty. So then we just pop it right back on. By the way, you can do this recipe up until the crisping point on any pressure cooker. Instant Pot, Kasori, Go Wise, any one of them. But you can't crisp it in the same pot. Only one can do that. And that's the Ninja Foodie. So, let's go ahead and take a bite together. You first. Blowing on it, it's still hot. Mmm. Boy, that's good. That's good. I gotta give you, let me get the burnt parts. I'll give you another, another bite. If it fall, take it off the table and eat it. You ready? Take a bite. Look at it. Look at it want to fall. Look at it. Look at it. That's all right. Mmm. That crisp is life. Anywho, link will be in the description to my um, air fryer group. On Facebook, we have over 48,000 members. Also, will be a link to my pressure cooker group on Facebook as well. And I want to shout out to both of those groups. And just, um, I just wanted to tell you in this video is the reason why I got this is anything that's new out there, I'm going to get. Either the company's going to send it to me or I'm just going to go out and buy it cash to show y'all. Because that's how I roll. Hit like if you like it, remember to subscribe, and if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug, and your boy is out. This is behind the scenes, extra. I'm putting it into a vacuum seal bag, most of it, for another day. And I'll be eating some of this tomorrow. I'm making a special video. I'll be showcasing a new um, entry level air fryer. I'll be showcasing it tomorrow. Just wanted to show y'all that. See that y'all? Look at that. No worries.